Hey guys, welcome to a new video. Today we're gonna react to Techie OP Why Blocks Fruits Update 20 was overhyped. Um, I'm a Blocks Fruit um, YouTuber, quote unquote, m uh, myself, um, with the YouTuber role and the YouTuber title in Blocks Fruit. Um, that to react to the video. And before the video starts, like, subscribe, share the video, comment, look in the description, follow our social media if you can. And yeah, I think that's pretty much it. Um, I'll leave the link to his video in the description so I could um, give credit to the creator who made the video. Anyways, let's just watch the video. Why Blockstreet's update 20 was overhyped. Update 20 of Blockstreet was released recently, but it was at the cost of Roblox's servers repeatedly going down. Yeah, the servers kept shutting down everything. That's really funny. What went wrong with update 20? Without further ado, don't forget to like, subscribe, and let's get straight into this discussion. Exhibit A. Was update 20 worth the wait? For context, update 20 of Block Streets took over a year to actually get pushed out. In a tweet that was made back in February... Okay, I just want to mention, it's not worth it. It was not worth it, waiting for update 20. But, um, I know he mentioned it somewhere as well in the video where it says, but I understand they, he knows that, um, they're going to have monthly updates or something like that still was, um, we're hope out, at least I was hoping for the new two fruits to come out and dragon rework plus control, but I guess that's did not come and I expected the map to be reworked, but no, I expected at least the dragon will be reworked or control, but I guess not confirming this massive update and from what i can tell this update we received really wasn't all that massive now i'm aware that the update is split into parts but yeah there it wasn't is confirmed until a day before the update's release which is terrible yes that's true they didn't announce it until later on which was so random they announced it not only that they updated the server so randomly that i didn't even know they were really updating nor did my friend red apple we both didn't know the, the game was updating. It was out of the blue. It was so random. Um, also, let me just fix that. Again, if you guys want to, um, because I see his video quite a lot. And there are actually sometimes valid points. But if you guys want to see his full video without me interrupting you guys, again, it's in the description. Go watch it. You can watch his video. Communication on the devs part, so that doesn't really excuse them. For They're not really good so at defense. communicating. Let's look into the actual update and what we got from it. The main thing about this update was or being nice raid boss system and a revamp to some of the swords in the game, including the infamously bad Dark Blade, as it was literally the most useless game pass for a long time. Yes, but, a rework, along with a few but it's still useless. Also, they changed the fruit models themselves into some childish pet simulator designs, which obviously was made to cater more to yeah. children. For yeah, the that's game. true. Another reason. Nobody asked that. Was due to essentially being at risk of okay. Um, want to mention the fact that um, if you go to their server or like server and go on any caller, ask another YouTuber or someone that plays box fruit and ask them about the fruits. Nobody asks for the fruits to be reworked like this. They literally just wanted to do that. It makes no sense. Nobody asks for this, but okay. Right from Toei Animation, which are the owners of the One Piece IP. So that's why names were changed, like Paul to Pain, because of the fear that they would be taken down due to copyright infringement. We got two raid bosses, the Leviathan and the Terror Shark raid boss, and what came with that was the addition of the also overpowered Shark Anchor. The main issue with the two bosses is that they really aren't even designed to be a raid boss. Because again, it's just a brain dead spam moves to the boss dies type of boss. Yes, raid bosses are um, and he needs also the yeah. boss is very difficult to de defeat. Um, considering the fact that you have to, like, um, have to hit him, like, on the tail, I think. I lost, I died the first time I tried it, and it's kind of hard to get stuff in for the game, for the update, but whatever. They like to make things more complicated to make players play longer. Um, I was also gonna say something, let me see, let me see if I can remember. Spam they really but that was the addition of the also raid boss. Oh, yeah, none of the fruits again, look like um, so I understand like blo uh, one piece. So I don't know, was it really necessary to change them all? Yes, the name a little bit, but none of them really look like the anime, so there's no point of changing them. They just decided to, for a marketing standpoint, or they could sell their plushies, which the plushies also gives has a chance, so it's like they're supporting gambling even more. Um, to for players to either buy um, 
the fruit, it will give you a chest that either has a fruit, depending on the color as well. Um, if it's like, I think it's green, it gives you a fruit. And if it's like pink or purple, it gives you a perm fruit. Some new boats and even gave away a which nobody asked, so, asked for. They did add a new island, which is again a mostly empty island, but on the With island, no new boss. More pointless grind. That exactly. Means absolutely nothing. A new weapon enchanter, which allows you to. I will have to scroll um weapons, scroll the video to speed it up. Cool, and it makes the weapons a lot more useful in the game, but some of the buffs are just plain out just bad, or make the weapons worse. Yeah, and adds RNG. They added, which was Adding more gambling. It took them nine months to add this, by the way. Pretty underwhelming, to be honest. Mammoth yes, being small, like it's on, too overpowered. I got teamed on by Mammoth, on by Mammoth and Leopard. The devs, promising things like the island reworks, progression reworks, and fruit reworks. The only sword to really get a model rework was the dark blade the other swords literally look the exact same and only a few of those even got new moves in effect. exactly they lied just to get people excited then hid behind the oh we're going to split the updates into parts right before the launch of the actual update although they did mention that but like the update at max that we still have literally took probably a few weeks to probably a couple months to make not to mention the reality and in the tweet i showed earlier a lot of these updates were done back in february like some of the map reworks so what happened between that time and now and what took you so long and why is it not mostly already in the game my guess is it probably um the fact that some of the npcs they have to move around and stuff like that so probably an island has a lot of coding so they have to move the coding and then move it to a new island and then arrange it and it's a lot of mess Maybe that's why it's taking so long for that part. I don't know much, but why that's my guess. Players wait for months with no content at max level. Let's not forget that Blockchain devs have a history of lying about what is actually in certain updates. Like Race V4 wasn't actually in the game at first when it was announced, and people had to wait weeks. Oh wait, wait, wait! That's funny. That's on it. Oh, let me just screenshot and then send that to him. That's funny. I never noticed. I watched this video before. I just didn't notice. But it was in the game, I guess. I mean, you saw people having it. But that's, I don't know. I'd say it probably was in the game. But maybe it wasn't. Doesn't really matter. I didn't get it until later on. Actually in the game at first when it was announced. And people had to wait weeks for that to actually be added to the game. And plus, in the end of the day, who would have figured it out that you had to look at the full moon and howl at it use your race like power who would have figured that out of course only a rare few and they only kept their mouth shut hey, just to fool the community to get them to play and waste their time trying to find it i simply just don't agree how updates are done with this game and so many other games in the roblox anime community as so many devs have a habit of leaving their community in the dark with hardly any communication for months on end and in my opinion this has to be changed since devs on the platform are making millions of dollars like they're not broke yeah they but no um no developers are gonna do that as of yet not Rossi's. Not Rel Season. Rel Season is not going to do that. Broke Roblox. Well, when Update 20 dropped, and even before it dropped, Blockchain had so many players that it managed to overload the terrible. Almost Roblox at three million, I think it was. Site crash repeatedly. Roblox was struggling to maintain the servers due to just how many people were trying to access the game at once. The update itself even was delayed because of these server shutdowns. People are even speculating that that may have been the reason for the lackluster update. I'm here to debunk that now. The devs already had prepared the update before the servers had shut down, so the servers shutting off had nothing to do with what was actually pushed out for the update. The only thing that was affected was the release time, and that was it. But I will Actually, say this. I would say that um, they did test the game out, so and it seems like there were people in the server, so they were trying to get in the server. Maybe they were testing it. I don't know. It is not Blockchain's fault that the player count was so high that it crashed. To up exhibit C, yeah, it's YouTuber Roblox problem. fault. Many YouTubers also overhyped the update to the extreme for clickbait. YouTube About that, that same could be said to Brawl C's. Respectfully. Like Captain Maui and many others kept lying to their audience. Captain Maui, yes. Um, lots of YouTubers and blog suits do cap, and there's a lot of drama with um, YouTubers. Even if you go to the chat, um, sometimes it's very chaotic. YouTubers interacting with each other. Sometimes that's why I do not interact much in the disc and uh, uh, blog suits um, Discord server, just because I do not want any drama, and I am too tired of that.
promising things that were never even confirmed to be getting added, and just flat out lying, saying that they had exclusive information on the update, which they didn't, obviously. It led to the update 20 being severely overhyped and damaged what could have Maybe they did, maybe they didn't. Um Allegedly, um, they said they did. Um, but does it mean they did have it? So I'm just gonna say allegedly they said they did have information in sneak peeks. I say falls and cap, but that's my personal opinion. You can make up your own and that's just pure opinion. Been regarded as at least a decent update, if not for many YouTubers posting garbage updates when clickbait content. Exhibit D Yo, the amount of calling out okay. <laughs> I just find it funny, that's all. What should be changed if not for Okay. No one can deny that. And has gotten Let's skip a bit. Maybe add some it's because the game will always be popular because the kids who play could care less if the game gets better. They're content with what they have and that's okay. Even when I was a kid playing Block Streets, I knew it wasn't that good of a game then and more so even now. But I understand that many kids just want to run around with their friends in an empty but seamless open world with the illusion of adventure. It's perfect for what Roblox wants in a game. Okay, respectfully right there at the moment when he said that, that sounds a bit of um cope. Um... Like you're just self-reflecting on a game and hating on it. Um, that's like me hating on Relsies. Like telling, saying that Relsies is such like an empty, brainless game that is not going to succeed at all, and I don't see it succeeding. That seems a bit like, you know, hating on it. Game, and that's the unfortunate reality. The effect that Block Streets has on Roblox. Block Streets is essentially the biggest Roblox game of all time, garnering over 2 million players concurrent, which is higher than every Steam game right now. So therefore, of course, it will have tons of influence on people in the platform. Block Streets has single-handedly caused the death of creativity in Roblox One Piece games nowadays. As more games come out trying to replicate the success of this game, lead to an increase of mediocrity on the platform. Even other Roblox anime games have tried out the Block Streets formula, with other animes besides One Piece leading to the unfortunate rift in the community we have now, where every game is just a copy of the last game that tried to copy Block Streets. And guess what? None of these games will beat Block Streets because Block Streets is the originator. It will continuously lead the platform into a mass market of Block Streets clones, and this has already steadily been happening for several years now, and it's just become more noticeable recently. But it's not Block Streets' fault that it's such a big game. But the least they could do with the millions of dollars that they are making, they could at least create an experience that is worth the time and hype. But we know that that will most likely never happen because they won't have to because their community will continue to eat up whatever they put out regardless but i digress if you guys enjoyed this video don't forget to like subscribe i'll see you guys in the next video Peace. okay that's pretty much it, the video again if you guys want to watch the video of your on your own you could do so and go to the description of the video and find it there um there's some parts where i agree with them and there's some parts i don't agree with them like there's no need for saying like talking so trash about the game or hating on it um should nor should you com really complain of blocks roots um most of them you know d writing on blocks roots when every game every youtuber or every players d write on some type of game some of them d write on rel c's and hey if that's what you want to do do kudos to you bro i don't care do as you want. If it makes you happy, go ahead. If it gets you cash, go ahead. I respect the hustle. But don't be calling out other YouTubers or stuff like that if you are, how to say it, um, doing it yourself. Um, that's one of the reasons I don't like when Rel C's got and like they did an interview or something and they were calling Box Fruit, um developers hit like egotistical and so many other names and stuff like that, which is like that's crazy. Because it's like you do it too, so I don't know why you calling out someone else, and you are so dead centered on talking so big, and then when your game shows like, for example, they were talking so big about block, they were gonna beat Blocks Roots. How did that turn out? Um, did Blocks Roots just did like Blocks Roots? I think they put them down their ego, puts them where it should be. World Brothers have a very big ego, and. They think their game will succeed all the time. That's not how it works. Sometimes it will succeed. 
I'm not saying Rail Seas is not succeed is gonna uh, gonna succeed, nor am I saying Shinobi 3 will not succeed. Hopefully Shinobi will succeed. But that's what I'm just trying to say that I am um, they just don't call people out if you're gonna do it yourself. Don't be a hypocrite. Criticize your own actions, then you could criticize another's. First improve yourself and not do it and then, you know, call out to other people. It just doesn't make sense. Anyways, I'm gonna end the video here. Thanks for watching. Like, subscribe, all that, what I said in the beginning. So I'll see you guys next time. Stay safe and take care.